Hi, Hi YouTube, YouTube family. family. My name is Alicia English. I'm Philip English. And I'm Gunnar English. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Woo! Today we are working on a project for the camper and we're pretty excited because we're going to take a break from rolling paint, peeling wallpaper. Let's go. We've got some creating to do today. Let's go. Wow, today is such an exciting day. Another exciting day. Like the floors look oh so good. I can't wait to see what you do with the bathroom door. So I'm working on a feature that's going to be in the camper that's going to really add to the bohemian style look of what I want the overall finished look of this camper to look like. We are nowhere near done being finished this camper, <laughs> but it's fun to work on some of these design elements while we go in between our wallpaper peeling and our white paint rolling and some of the jobs that are a little more labor intensive with the prep of getting this to look like our dream camper. And so we are going to start working on this feature that I'm going to do on the door today. And I'm really excited because I can just envision it in my head and usually things kind of come into life the way that I want them to. And so with a little bit of creative ingenuity, I think that we should be able to make this work. So we're pretty excited. So we're we, using all scraps to do this too, right? Like yes. we're not, we don't have to go and purchase anything. No. So this is like a trash to treasure camper feature. I love it. Pretty fun, right? Yeah, let's okay. get started. Let's get started. I'm loving how this is all coming together. Of course, I had to put down my little boho rug there just to see the look now that the floor is in, but I think it's looking amazing. Look at this flooring. It is just unbelievable. So thrilled with this flooring. This is the Easy Way Aspen. We had a bunch of comments yesterday asking what color choice that I had. So this one's called Aspen, but look at how nice it looks with the green and the coral and oh, just dreamy. It looks so nice. We have just a couple of pieces of flooring left to be able to finish this bathroom floor. And so we wanna get that totally done today. What we did yesterday was we did our whole flooring and then because this area was super wet and the glue was kind of shifting when we had to pivot on the floor back there, we wanted to let it sit overnight and be really tacky and kind of down to the floor. So now that things are mostly dry, we're going to put in the rest of those pieces and get working on our feature. You cutting a whole bunch of pieces? Yeah, I'm excited to get this floor actually finished. Uh, we're just doing the last couple pieces and we're just kind of piecing it together before we glue it down. So we've made this angle here. And we're just seeing if it's gonna fit in here. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sometimes it's just hard to... Perfect. So years ago when I was in art school, we did a class that was on 2D and three-dimensional shapes. And we had to create something out of the materials that they gave us. And it was really hard to be able to piece things together when you had really tight squeezes. And I actually had to make a 3D um, grasshopper, which was made out of wire and just as little pieces of thin sheet metal. And so when I tried to put things together, I actually had to use a very thin, like a white tissue, almost like a white gray tissue paper to be able to make folds and seams so that I knew exactly where I was supposed to score this type of material to be able to piece it together. And so I don't have any of that anymore. I don't have a lot of the supplies I used to have, but I do have white paper. And so all I want to do now is make these angles here on the flooring and this is not like a difficult shape as difficult it would have been years ago when I had to do this but I still use some of these old tricks that I learned so what I'm going to do is use my piece of paper and put it along the side of the flooring here and then I can just seam it up to the corner making a crease with my fingers and fold this down so it's perfectly the same shape almost like you're folding like origami or something and then when I cut my piece of flooring, I'll be able to be, get that right angle. And so I will have to measure and see how big my little rectangle is going to be down there to know where my point's going to start. But that gives me a really good indication of what the angle is for my shape, especially when we're working in a tight squeeze. Over here, we can kind of eyeball it a little bit, but in a small space like this, it's a lot more difficult. So I'll just use my paper like this. I'll measure down how long on my piece of laminate, and then I'll be able to pull like stuck to the glue on the floor in the back. Um, so if you piece, pass me a piece of the laminate there. Where are we gonna use a full sheet Oh, there? we gotta use a full sheet, yeah. And then I'll be able to measure, well, starting from the top anyways, um, I'll be able to line this up, know that that's how wide my rectangle is going to be, 
and my angle for my floor space along that cabinet is there. And then actually, because this is the same angle even further, I'll be able to use it again to start my angle for my next piece that's gonna fit into there. Perfect. See. So I just need the measuring tape to measure my little rectangle. I'll get it for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I know that my rectangle I just measured is down eight and a quarter where my little peak needs to start. And so I'm going to put this up to here, making sure it's perfectly butt with the side of the flooring. So then, I'm a perfectionist, I have to double check this. That's the two inches, which is what I wanted. Okay, so then I can take my pencil, preferably a sharp one, all the way down. And then I can use my square. I get it. I lost my pieces. So I know that my width of my rectangle needs to be two inches, so I'm just gonna double check, which I'm like exactly dead on. And I wanna be two inches up here as well. Is the width of the square two inches? <laughs> It's pretty close. Is it supposed to be like you, something you know? I uh, know it's nothing I know. I have no idea. <laughs> it's nothing I know. <laughs> I'm oh, not you? cutting there. Okay. I'm not cutting there. I was gonna say. Yeah, right. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, <right>. <laughs> <laughs> so I cut off a strand of my own hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'd give you a haircut, but... Yeah, Elisha's saying she wants me to cut her hair. Leave down in the comment section. Okay, wait. You... If we can get 10,000 likes on this video, I will let Philip cut my hair. 10,000 likes? 10,000. That's a lot of likes. We usually get about 2,000 on a video. So if you can give us, get us 10,000 likes, I will let Philip cut my hair. All I have is a <laughs> buzzer and scissors. I want to do this. Please give me 10,000 likes. That's a lot of likes. Trust a man with no hair to cut your hair. <laughs> <laughs> if we get 10,000 likes, I will 100% let you cut my hair. <laughs> That's the rule. Can I tell them a secret? Yeah. Okay. I sent off our designs for our merch. Oh, and the merch looks so good. I'm so excited. I sent a whole bunch of details over to Bunker Branding and I just got the files this morning to be able to email over to them so they'll have like a whole package and then I created them a little like visual calendar or a calendar calendar um catalog of how I want all the placements of everything to be and Philip and I spent like four hours the other day on Thursday I believe it was yeah. selecting all of the apparel actual items out of the catalog that we had to choose from and picking all the colors oh creamy I might need a new haircut for my new wardrobe when it comes. 10,000 likes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Like, what are you thinking? I'm thinking our YouTube family's going to pull through. Oh, man. A little bit off the top. I, I will let you cut my hair, though. If we what? actually get 10,000 likes, I will 100% let you cut oh, my hair. no. Mullet. Nope. Undercut. You gotta live with me with whatever haircut you give <laughs> me. So. <laughs> I'm undercut. I'm <laughs> undercut. Like like the Logan Paul. Undercut. Like cut the back of his hair. All right. Let's see if the good old paper trick worked. How's that tight fit now? How does a toilet fit in here? It's not as cool today. Like. Do you know what I was just thinking? I was thinking of Christmas because I was hearing the wind blow and I was measuring this and like thinking about the measuring tape being crappy and thinking like, no, that song was like, all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> I was thinking, all I want for Christmas is a measuring tape. In my head, that's what was going on. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> it's that cold that I'm thinking of Christmas. Yesterday for sure. Today is. Beautiful. It's not snow tonight. Yeah, it's not bad. You're not supposed to show this part. Cut away from your body. Philip. I don't think our YouTube family knows how much you cut yourself with knives. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving away all my talents, are you? <laughs> Super unlucky. How's it fit? 
Like a glove? I didn't get it in yet. Oh. Alright. Okay. Oh wow. If I could get in the bathroom. There we go. Angle 811. What's the next? What's the next angle going? <laughs> We gotta find a piece that fits. This is the angle. Let's I wanna see, I wanna here. see, I wanna see. Hold on, hold on. Oh, baby. Who put all that extra glue there? <laughs> wow. That was me. I like your... So I'm gonna do a angle on this and then a little piece so that it's not too running. Meaning, I didn't butcher the crap Meaning out of this. we ran out of No, nope. No, look, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, Few little triangles. <laughs> We're getting her done. This is gonna be exacto. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, my next book release is gonna be a book on puns. <laughs> it's gonna be punny. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be exacto. <laughs> Speaking of my book, YouTube family, coupon code 20% off, Etsy. Oh, win. Why? Why is this door open all the time? I'm sitting here with a tiny little pile of scrap. And when we did the square foot me measurements for what we needed for the camper, I believe I knew when we ordered three cases that we would be about probably half a foot short based on my measurements but I knew that on some of my shapes, I actually made like a full rectangular shape when I did the square footage, kind of just to give us a tiny little bit of give room in the bathroom. And so rather than ordering a fourth case to give us any overages at all, I just ordered three cases so we could stay, you know, in the budget that we wanted, but get better flooring. And this is all we have left. <laughs> we have a couple thin, but Triangles. not but not only is that all we have left, but that's our scraps. Like there's we didn't throw any other scraps so no. that that's literally That's it. That's it. It's amazing. We, so we were like so close. And I know it's great to have a few extra pieces. So if down the road we have to change out a piece or something, I know that I can get more of this flooring and even down the road, like who knows what we're gonna do. And so I'm not overly worried about it. But this is like incredible how we had so few pieces of waste. On top of that, we saved ourselves from buying a whole extra box because at the price that we paid, even though we got a really good deal, I mean, anything you can save in your budget when you're doing a big project like this just means that I get to do another project <laughs> ever. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited. So this actually took us a lot longer today than we had planned. It totally did. Just all um, those little angles and cuts and the glue and... Yeah, and just getting everything else done and just making sure that like pieces yesterday were completely glued down and just, you know, other little tinkered things we needed to get done today in the camper. So I'm pretty happy with the fact that the flooring is now completely finished. And then we're gonna do a little bit of a trim around some of the other areas in the camper where we had taken off trim for the trailer and everything. We're gonna have to do an order to get a few, um, you know, trim pieces just to give the flooring a finished look around the edges of the boxes and stuff. I wanna give it a really seamless look as to what we're, how we're gonna have it, but I'm pretty happy with this. This flooring looks gorgeous. I hope that it's, you know, you can really capture it on camera, but it looks so good. So our plan right now was to go and start working on our feature wall idea that we're doing on the bathroom door, but we were running out of daylight. So you have two options. So I'm choosing for you. You can have video today, including the feature wall, which means that you won't get the video until tomorrow night, or we can cut this video off now, edit it for you, get it up, and show you the feature wall tomorrow. So I'm choosing for you. Because <laughs> I know you're loving the daily uploads. So, okay, so we have a couple things. Do you want to do a, just a live tonight? Ooh, do a live tonight? Sure, we can do a live tonight. I'd love to do a live and just okay. say hi to everyone. And Sounds good. So tonight a... we'll be live and we'll go with, um, what time is it now? Five? Five. So okay. I'm going to try and edit this and get this up and then everyone will know that we're going to do a live when this is up so they can watch this. Okay. So we'll, we're going to aim for 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If we're not on at 9, we're coming. Sometimes it takes a few minutes to upload the video, but we're going to plan for 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so we'll have this video up and then we will be on for our live and chat with you guys tonight. We have a couple of things to like tell you. Maybe we'll give you a few 
um, you know, hints or sneak peeks about our new merch launch and a few other things. We have a bunch of stuff that we can share with you guys. And I might give you some details about what I'm going to work on for the future. Well, cool. we'll see. So if you have any questions for us, um, make sure you bring them for the live for us because we like to answer as many questions that you guys possibly have for us. And don't forget from this video, if we get 10,000 likes on this video, I will let Philip cut my hair and we'll have like Chase or the tripod or something. So. <laughs> Okay, 10,000 likes in this video. Oh let's see if we goodness. can do it. <laughs> let's do this. Wow. Look at this floor. It is like so dreamy. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, I have to roll up my rug, but I just have to leave it there for a few minutes so I can stare at it. So it just looks so good in here. Like, look at the difference. If I stand on this end of the camper, look at the difference now compared to what it looked like three weeks ago. And clearly we have a lot of work to do still, but so much brighter. Remember that two-tone flooring that was here? We had to put in a new subfloor. Just absolutely amazing the difference. Like this is just exactly what I was envisioning. And with my stenciled wall, it's gonna look so nice. Ah, so exciting. Oh, heaven. Heaven, and it's all done. One more job off the list. Hi, Bab. Another full day of work in the camper. All done the floor. Look at that gorgeous stencil wall behind you. I mean, it's not very complimentary with the blue tape on the window still, but it's been so cold. I cannot do any more of the windows right now. So we have a to-do list and things we wanna do for the camper this week, but we also have a few design elements that we really wanna tackle just to kind of give us a little bit of like, you know, pretty to look at while we're renovating the rest of the camper and so it's so nice to get the Wait, floor in some oh so come so yeah so some cohesiveness in the camper and just see some of those like visuals coming to life in the camper i'm pretty excited and i'm hoping that by next week i'm doing some upholstery which is super fun i'm itching to get at some of those projects so i'm really excited i think it looks really good let us know in the comment section what you think don't forget to hit the like button when you're watching our videos if you're enjoying our content so that youtube knows that you want to see more of these videos because it really helps out our channel and helps us grow because we're growing so fast what are you, are you making bunny ears or something no <laughs> i'm not no i was just gonna say i was like or you want to see me oh, oh, I cut get it. the okay. locks off. Okay, well, if you would like Philip to cut my hair on a live or in one of our videos, then we need to get 10,000 likes on this video. I think that's a pretty far stretch because usually we get about 2,000. So I don't know. You have to see if the YouTube family is on your side or not. <laughs> They're always on my I side. definitely need a haircut. I think my hair, when it's straight, is actually about four inches longer than my waistband. <laughs> Definitely need a haircut. Okay, so thank you guys so much. We will see you guys live tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Smash the like button. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you join our YouTube family and hit the subscribe button. And we will see you tonight on our live and on tomorrow's video. Bye.